Hello Glam Crew, welcome back to the channel. I saw this picture in my thumbnail creator and I really do wish I was there. So I wish you were there with me too, but we're not there, so let's do nails instead. What we're gonna do today is the long winding road curvy line situation. Um, as I was making them, they all looked like long curvy roads to me. So they are kind of the long winding road nails to me. We're going to do pinks today and we are working with the Beatles collection. Um, I did skip painting the nails on this video because you just saw me paint nails this color in yesterday's video. Ding! Or Wednesday's video, not yesterday's. Wednesday's video. So ding! I will put that up in the section above you where you can click that little eye card thing <clears throat> so now we're just coming in i had a little fluff on my brush we're coming in and just starting that with the darker pink and i had thought about doing two lines close to each other with the two colors and then i thought no what if you ombre them right in the middle in the tiniest little section that would be so cute so we're doing half and half like half light pink half dark pink and just to give it some zhuzh, we're going to add some more stuff here in a minute. Um, I had already attempted the curvy line trend nail before, but I did it with a dot manicure. So my curvy lines are dots instead of, you know, traditional lines. I'm almost out of black in that bottle, so I just put it upside down so I could get some out. <laughs> And it was, it was a real question because that's not a perfectly level surface to whether or not it was going to stand up, but it did. Yay. So now I'm just <laughs> finishing up my lines. I actually do end up skipping a little bit of the lining for you guys because it's all super, super similar. Um, so I'm only going to show you like three or four of them of this part and then just a couple of the other steps just so that you get a real idea of how I did the look. Uh, it's super simple. I started trying to do it with line with my liner brush instead of these smaller brushes that I'm using now. And it doesn't really bend as much as you want it to, to do these little, and it's hard to work with just the tip of it because then it bends too much, right? So <laughs> I was having some troubles and I just was like, no, no. And I came back to it another day and I decided that it was the brush that was the problem, not me. And which actually does make it me because I selected the wrong brush. But regardless, I selected better brushes. And as soon as I started working with them, I was like, oh yeah, this feels much better. Because it definitely feels more like you're just, you know, like drawing with a pencil or something. So if you're struggling, try a smaller brush. <laughs> Just try a smaller brush. It's so much more easy. I really, I had a really good time making this because uh, you're doing something that, that could be considered linear, but not in a linear way. So it's just, I found it to be highly enjoyable. I loved curve, I love curved lines. They're just, so fun and i love variegating variegating variating the um the thickness of the lines to come in thicker and go go to a skinnier place and it it gives the illusion of like a twisting turning sort of ribbon almost so these could, could also be sort of ribbony nails i guess but every time i look at them i think the long and winding road right so that's just that's just what always sticks in my head. You'll have to let me know in the comment section, what do you think of when you see nails like this? Because they are everywhere right now. Everyone is doing the curvy line thing and that you can't get away from it. And I could not stop thinking about how pretty they are and wanting to, you know, throw my hat in the ring, so to speak, of the curvy line trend. Okay, now we're going to zhuzh it up a little and we're going to add a little bit of black. We are not going to go the whole way with our uh, 
contrast colors, I guess you would say. Um, we're just going to do bits, just little bits to give us an, a definition to the curve shape. And don't forget your cleanup brush because when you get a little out of control, a little cleanup brush goes a long way and be very gentle when you use it. You just wanna take the little bits off that you don't like. And of course you can always wipe off and, and try again. I've done that zillions of times and I did it uh, several times in this set. Um, I just always cut that out because I know you guys don't want to see all that. <laughs> if you do want to see all that, let me know. I'll start cutting together some like blooper reels or something. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I don't talk when I'm working though because I'm usually watching something and I know I'm going to do a voiceover. So, or I'm listening to music and, you know, I'll get all kinds of copyright strikes if I try to. To, to play that so um it's not hmm, whatever anyway if you want something like that let me know and i'll see what i can come up with how about that so we're just going to finish up our black accent parts now and then i got a little shocker for you maybe you weren't expecting it maybe you were but we're going to come in with some gold now Look at that. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. This is the Nicole Diary stamping gels that I have that you know I don't like to stamp with because they are messy AF, okay? And that's the closest to cursing I try to get on this channel is some letters. Uh, but anyway, I thought the gold with the pink and the black Oh, it just takes it to a whole new level. Look at how cute that is. Guys, I really love that. I'm sorry you're shaking right now. I need to get a better mount situation for the phone, camera phone. Um, and I'm working on that. I, I've... Uh, I did a new setup, but then I tried to film something with it and I don't love it. So um, I'm still working on trying to figure out how I'm gonna get everything set up correctly. And that and that is something that we'll have to carry over into the new apartment when I get moved because I just really am not 100% sure, you know, how everything's gonna get set up when I get there. So. I assume pretty similarly. I don't think I'm, it's going to be exactly the same, but super similar. So now it's time for top coat. And with a look like this, you're probably going to want to top coat twice. But also make sure that you, once you get your top coat down, that you're not letting it settle too much, like in the little nooks and crannies of your lines. Uh, because it can give kind of a wonky look. This is the Kiara Sky. Uh, no wipe top coat and I have to be honest I had forgotten I haven't used it in a minute and I forgot how much it splits apart um, which is not my favorite thing about a top coat and it's splitting apart on top of another Kiara Sky like that tan is a Kiara Sky so that's a bummer Guys, this is the finished set. You're going to have to let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And while you're down there, do your magic because that is how YouTube decides to show me to more people. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>